Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And before you look at getting a Stream Deck for DaVinci Resolve, I want you to watch this entire video. If you're looking at getting a Stream Deck, it's because you want to be more productive, you want to work faster, you want to be more efficient, and you want to have that ability to toggle between different modes and use hotkeys and express keys without having to re remember all the keyboard shortcuts manually. There's a lot of benefits to the Stream Deck. So here's what I want you to look at. This solution that I have is for anyone anywhere, which is different than the Stream Deck setup, where you still are required to have your keyboard, still required to have your mouse and the Stream Deck, in addition to multiple monitors. So there's another way to handle this using touch and a stylus where you can get the majority of your work done quickly and without having to sit down uh, anywhere specific. You can sit down anywhere you want to sit. If you use a stylus and Windows 10 or Windows 11, this is a great channel for you, so please subscribe. All right, let's jump over to DaVinci Resolve. So before we get started, I'm going to share two optimization tips. Now I have a 4K Ultra HD video here. This is 60 frames a second, 3800 by 2600 uh, resolution, roughly. And it does not play well on my Surface Laptop Studio. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, but I'm doing a bunch of things at the same time also. Still does not, it does not play back smoothly. So quick first tip, right click here and choose Generate Optimized Media. You're going to want to do this a little bit before you start. I make you want, you may want to give yourself half an hour for the computer to process and optimize this for you so that it plays back smoothly. The second tip is go here and playback, timeline proxy mode, and drop this resolution. I have it set to quarter resolution. It looks fine at the size it is on the screen, and it plays back very smoothly. If you're using DaVinci Resolve and you're using the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro, you can use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which is fantastic. It's very, very good. And you don't have to use Adobe Premiere, uh, which is another great piece of software, but it has a subscription model, which if I can find something that works better for me, that's free, it's a glorious find. I'm very excited about it and want to share it with people. So here is uh, DaVinci Resolve. I have a few custom shortcuts that I will share at the end, but otherwise this is pretty standard. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let me show you this right here. So I have a stand. I'm actually sitting in bed right now with a bed pillow and I have a stand and it brings the screen up to eye level. For me, that's a really big deal. I don't want to be um, working and constantly staring down. It's, it's uncomfortable and difficult to do. So here I'll have the screen propped up about this height. I use my pen and my thumb, and I can do almost all of my editing, well, all of my personal editing quickly and efficiently. So let's go ahead and look at the screen. Uh, this is a video for Rebel 5 Pigments. And so I'm interviewing an artist who's been an oil painter for 65 years trying digital art for the first time. That's not in this section of the video. So this is Wayne and he's giving a tutorial on color mixing. Okay, so here I can use the stylus and back and forth. I can also use these buttons on the side that have tooltips so you know what they do. You can see the tooltips by hovering over them. You can speed up, pause. Uh, if I want to split a clip, I have a custom keyboard shortcut, Alt, Control, plus Shift, plus Backslash. Uh, and it doesn't really matter why, but there's a conflict in another program. So here, let's go ahead. We're going to go forwards a little bit. We're going to split. I'm going to tap, and I'm going to ripple delete. So here I can drop a pin. Let's go right here and drop another pin. And that's select right here. We're going to right click, change the clip color. And uh, let's go ahead. Actually, play around with it. Go ahead. We're going to split the clip. 
Now there's another trick. If you want to do it, forwards and we're going to uh, select this clip, split here and delete. Then we're going to undo all of this because I don't really want to do any of these things in the actual video yet. There's a lot over here and these are completely customizable. It allows you to do uh, different things in Resolve that you couldn't do without a full setup and especially not at this speed. I have the side button on my stylus set to split clips. So I can tap here and I can just click play, split, tap, delete. It's very, very fast, very intuitive. It feels great. So this, again, you can customize this to have whatever shortcuts you want. You can build multiple ones for different modes. You can set buttons here to click different spots on the screen. If I wanted one to click inspector, I could have it click inspector and then create a button right underneath it, a stacked button. So it would click inspector and then you could have it either click here again and then move the cursor somewhere over here. There's tons of, of ability to customize these exactly the way you want. All right, so this is DaVinci Resolve, the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. If you're interested in getting this, this is already pre-made for you, so you can just jump right in, go to tabletpro.com slash install, and that'll get you right to installing this and you'll be up and ready You'll be going in, in about three minutes uh, from the time you get to the page to when you have this set up inside of Resolve. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered some questions for those of you who are looking to buy a Stream Deck. At very least, this is a wonderful addition to a setup that includes a Stream Deck. If you have questions or comments, put them below. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not yet, again, subscribe, subscribe right now. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.